Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in, a time traveller's guide to past delicacies or attitigtipad for short. So this was <laughs> developed by Outlands, uh, published by Sometimes You and is going to be available for £4.19 slash $4.99. Now, all I can say about this game is, uh, oh, God damn, what the hell's going on? So basically, what we're going to do, it's, it's a short game, it's a bit of a fictional time traveller who's basically going to the past to steal some recipes. It's a sock puppet, um, we're learning new recipes, uh, just, uh, yeah, pff, I, did bit, I can't even explain it, you'll just have to see, but basically I think the, dev, uh, the devs were on their own. Uh, <laughs> The sock puppet recipes, as it were, uh, while making this game. Anyway, uh, as for achievements, very easy. A lot of them, apart from two, are story-related. Um, or three, I think. We basically have to take a picture of a dinosaur. We have to leave a first review, which is very easy. Um, we then need to press one button, basically, um, in a certain amount of time. But that's okay. But all in all, you're looking at around 25 minutes to 30 minutes to get this done. So, with that being said then, let us begin. And you can already see just where the game is going. Personally, one of my favourite games of the year so far. Just for the utter weirdness and hilarity of it. My new interactive cooking show. A time traveller's guide to past delinquency. Yes. You see... The life of a time traveller is not just about temporal paradoxes and accidental affairs with dead ancestors. Sometimes we have the opportunity to immerse ourselves in the cultures of the past and discover wonderful dishes that have long since been lost. So let's get cooking. My assistant, Big Flimbo. So when we get the choice, we're going to press the left button once and then press the middle button in order to get to the first one. But please just listen to this music. I have loved this. Weirdly, I could sit there listening to that. It's kind of creepy, but it's also cool in, the, in a certain weird way. So press the right hand side button to get a chili. Now you'll have to press the A button twice in order to grab it and then bring it over to the blender here on the left, press the A button again to let go of it and as long as there was a, a bit of sparkle there, as you can see, um, that means that basically the ingredient's gone in. So click the big green button again, this time grab an onion, again, you'll have to press the A button twice and pop that in the blender, do the same thing again and grab the garlic. So sometimes you'll have to go, you'll basically have to press like left of the ingredient you're trying to pick up because otherwise it doesn't work for some reason. Uh, pick up the broth and pop that in the blender as well. And again, you've just seen the like little sparkly bits. So even if that ingredient goes out, um, it, it, it will still count. So as you can see, I've tried putting this green tomatillo in and it's not working. Um, and then eventually what's going to happen as well is this other deathly weird sock puppet's going to appear in just a minute. And it can appear like this. Bruh. What the god damn is going on? Anyway, when this bit comes up, you are basically going to get put into this training area. So, uh, it's very easy. All we got to do is basically, it's a very, obviously, very small map. All we got to do is go around everywhere collecting every ingredient. So you can go to the bottom left there, there'll be, again, it, it, it's all random ingredients, but as long as you've collected them all, then it is job done. So, yep, yeah, up we go then to the top right corner and then head up. We'll get another achievement here for uh, getting the old red hot chili peppers or red hot chili somethings. Please, developers of this game, whatever you were on <laughs> making this game, let us make a game together. This is the kind of game that I would love to make if I was a game developer, in all fairness. So uh, then we could just go up to this exclamation point. It's basically uh, Time Traveler's Directive, as it is. So you go to the left. Now you need to go up and you need to stand in front of Mr. Freeze, who's literally Mr. Frozen. Then we can go back and another exclamation mark will appear here. This is the, another Time Traveler's Directive. And then we could just head up on the old... Uh, the, pff, the old... 
red and white tiles that blind me. Then we can grab the last bit there, and then that should be all the ingredients done. Step on the bottom, Mr. Freeze will fall to his inevitable death. Yeah, That's the Arnie Dr. Freeze that I got there. Uh, Mr. Freeze, sorry, not Dr. Freeze. Anyway, head up. Once you've interacted with this big frying pan, that is that weird little training section over. Alright, okay, thank you, weird death sock puppet bruh. We will uh, get right onto that. So, depends where you are then, um, we will go back to the Tommy Lee Titi Tartars. So, if you're having trouble there, just try and move some of the ingredients and then you should then eventually have the prompt. Uh, go away! You should have the prompt there to blend it. Once that's done, we can then turn on the button, the red button in the middle, and then we can get another onion, which we can add to the pot. Then we can get some salt, which we can add, add to the pout, eventually. Like I said, sometimes you have to go, like, to the left of the ingredient to pick it up. I don't know why, but, uh, yeah. I don't know why. Sometimes it can be a pain in the ass. Come on. Oh, Alright, there we go. Right, finally, so add salt to the pan. Press the big green button again to get your coming. C cumin, sorry. I always get that wrong. Pop that in the pot as well. Now we are going to press the green button again. We're going to have a uh, couple of bits of beautifulness of the meat. Again, apologies to any vegans watching who may be offended, but, you know, bro's got to try and eat some of that rare flamingo, you know? Got to get that protein in store. So pop that in. And the next bit of meat as well. What the hell is that? A iguana or something? I don't know. But like I said, you're obviously going to see the ingredients flying off everywhere. But like I said, as long as you have that little shimmery sparkle when you popped it in, then it will count and you'll be fine. Right. Uh, get some lard. Pop that one in. Next. Get some broth. Oh, sorry. It was uh, Felipe Massa first, wasn't it? So Massa, broth, and some lard as well. Now, if this was actually cooking... Uh, this would be disgustingly terrible, but since you know it's a, it's a game and we're all good, click the button there, yellow button on the left, and blend it, boys! Now this is the longest one to do, and then all we got to do now is click the blue button three times. So there's one, there's two, and there's three until they're basically wrapped. And then what you need to do, these do get a bit weirdly all over the place, like they've like they are possessed and haunted. But uh, if that keeps happening there, just keep pressing the blue button to grab another one. And eventually, when you put the second one in, or apparently not even the second one in, um, you will get this cutscene basically finishing this uh, this level. So, uh, yeah. So make sure to click on the stars. Uh, uh, give him four stars. Go on. And the reason we're doing that is for an achievement. So make sure to click on four stars. Again, you may have to put the hand in a specific uh, way. But once that is done, that's your first review done. And uh, yeah, you can just chill for a minute and contemplate what in the goddamn hell just happened. It's, it's good coffee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's very, very good coffee. Mm. Anyway, um, thank you for your rating. And did you ever wonder how it feels like to travel back in time and get to discover some awesome dishes of the past. Lucky you, because we develop some new type of simulation that will allow you to experience time travel at home. Yeah. So, are you ready to dive headfirst into the mucus of history, the dawn of man, the primordial orgy of civilization? Then just follow me. So yeah, apparently we're going now into the Stone Age. So, as you can see, hold right bumper to uh, get your camera out and then press the A button in order to take a picture. So what we need to do then is, this is where the first, you probably won't be able to miss it, but if you take a picture of the dinosaur here, you will get an achievement. There we go. If you, if you don't want to watch the cutscene, just uh, take your finger off the right bumper and he will stop talking, old sock man. Or Columbus, whatever his name is. So the main purpose of this area then is basically to interact with every exclamation mark until you get a recipe. So if we have a look to the right of us, basically where we started, there is one. You'll have to probably go up a little bit close. There you go. As you've just seen, we got a recipe. 
and it'll be the same for this left one as well. So you'll just have to keep trying, just get up as close to this exclamation mark as you can until you see the recipe. Oh, bro, the dinosaur wasn't even in view. God damn. There we go. So there's the next one. So what we, now I'm not entirely sure if this is needed for story progression, but here you see the Jason Statham stone heads of life. This is, effectively, this is Jason Statham in the past filming his first ever film. Caveman! Um, but yeah, so I'm not sure if you have to, but anyway, I'll just take a picture, because... Jesus Christ, that is a fantastic design! Um, so I just go and take a picture of all three of them, and then I take a picture of the campfire as well. What is this big stone? So once you've done that then we can turn around and if we start heading towards the back of the area just past this big blue stone uh, ignoring the dinosaur you can see the next exclamation point point <laughs> point right in front of us once you have got that one turn around to the left and then a cutscene should start oh, oh, oh sorry sorry excuse me Anyway, did you like it? Uh, I admit it can feel awkward sometimes, uh, going through the past, stealing some recipes, but keep in mind, the past, by definition, has already happened. So it's totally fine to profit from it. Mm -hmm. So, more top music coming, but make sure to click the next one here, which is going to be Columbo Chicken and Fries. It is literally so good, isn't it? Right, so... This is where we're going to get two missable achievements. The first one, if you interact with the star down the bottom left-hand corner, just above my Welsh hunter sign there, that is the natural salt achievement. Then we can press the right green button and get some fries or some chippy chips. Or obviously, if, if you're in America, they're just called... Did you just call them fries or do you call them something else? Ah, I don't know. It, it's all confusing. Anyway, press the yellow button once they're in or they got sparkled. Then we're going to add the chicken to the pan. A tasty ejaculate? Well, goddamn. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about a tasty ejaculate. Anyway, in where I've put the finger pointer right now, um, in just a little bit, after we basically cut the vegetables, a little button will pop up. And that is the, uh, in the top right-hand corner, that is where we'll need to push the button. So we're going to add some Colombo Spice. Eventually, we're going to add some Colombo Spice. There we go. Next, we're going to uh, press the green button a few times to get salt. Lime and a cholo. God, get, get out of my way, chicken. Eh. Yeah. Give me the. God damn it, give me the sound. There we go. Next is going to be a delicious lime. You liming to me? And then one more chili for your willy. There we go. Right, so now we're going to cut the vegetables. So this just uh, basically plays out automatically. It starts to get. Weirder and weirder as we go on. Uh, so just to warn you there. So it won't appear yet, but it will appear on the next green screen. So uh, just by the screen there, what you need to do is press the um, button, the, the yellow button just by the screen. There it is. That'll start cutting the vegetables and that'll start going nuts. And after we add this chicken broth... Then we need to go up into the right, top right hand corner there to press the button. So everything's going to go completely nuts for the minute. So if you press the green button at the bottom, uh, the chicken broth will go down. Once you have added that chicken broth, then the big button at the top. Again, it's it's on a timer, so you need to be careful. Um, sorry about the little edit there. Uh, but there we go. So grab the chicken broth as soon as you put it in. Come in. There you go, up to the top right hand corner, press the button as quickly as you can, and there we go, that is the peanut oil for the masses achievement done. And it's actually this level done as well, so you're basically now dying in a green pit of grease, so well, rest in peace, bruh. Hey, look at you, you made it. Did you like it? 
Bis so, please share, subscribe, and give me that five star rating. So again, you are going to give him another rating, which will give you the elite reviewer achievement. Or you don't have to, as it turns out, I didn't do anything, and it's still giving me the achievement as well. So it's a vin vin. I sense that you are thirsty for that time traveling high again. The Neanderthals weren't enough? Do you need more middle aging? Kings and queens and little peasant boys? Okay. Then follow me to the Dark Ages. Okay, now we're off to the Dark Ages. So, go straight in front of you and into this first house on the right. Remember, right, right bumper to put, get your camera out. The A button to take a picture. That'll get you some beer soup. Okay, I can handle that one. Um, which will actually get you the Sheeple Stew achievement as well. Head to the next house here on the left. That's going to be another exclamation point. For beef. He... Was that in Welsh then? Was that in Welsh? I genuinely looked Welsh. Jesus Christ, the size in your heads. Take a picture of the big skeleton. And the, uh, basically the stone statue above it. Uh, below it, sorry. Try that again. Then to the left here, he uh, head into the next house. Take a ne another picture of the exclamation mark. Which will get you the drugulant, whatever that was. And then just head towards the apple. It starts going dark, but as you can see, is that an apple? No, it's basically cobra skin or something. Didn't I tell you never to eat food from the past? You can watch how they cook, get that recipe, but never eat it. I guess maybe I didn't tell you. I mean, you know. This is a simulation, but the way these things work is that we extract data from the past and... Did you ever tell me not to eat fruit from the past? Did I ever tell you not to smoke pot when you're developing games? Because if that's the case, keep it up, bruh. Keep it up, seriously. This just weird stuff is... Pff, it's just brilliant, is it not? What's happening? You broke it? You totally broke it? So, if you're wondering what the hell was just going on, I, I couldn't tell you. Um, but I've seen enough of those kinds of clips as we go for the granola bar and coffee. Because my kids love watching actual, like, stuff like that. Cutting up fruit and going nuts, etc. Right, so first things first, collect the uh, star there in the bottom right-hand corner for the review ambassador. And then what we are going to do is push the green button again. Oh, there we go. So we should have got two achievements there. Kellogenics as well. It's a brave new world. So grab the honey and we're going to pop that one right in the old pan again. And then same thing here. Oh, you can get these random hats or whatever the hell these are supposed to be. So uh, just just get them out of the way. Let's get it. Go, go on. Get So press the right green button again. That's going to get you some oats. We're going to add those oats as well. And stuff's going to get starting to get even extra bizarre because we're going to get a couple of sock puppets just popping his way in here. Uh, but once this is done, it's, uh, I think it's effectively just going to... Come on. 
Now we'll just press the uh, red middle button there, get that going. So the red middle button, sorry, almost forgot then. Then you press the um, machine that is currently going nuts. And yes, it's going to start getting even nuttier once more. So this area then, all we have to do is walk forward. As you can see, I'm going to start walking into everyone's genitalia just to see what would happen. And as it turns out, uh, we just go straight through them. Um, yeah. Uh, I got no idea what's going on, but I like it. Everyone's getting pastured up in the air, look. Uh, big giant necks and... God damn. Oh, bam, straight in the bowels. Anyway, all we got to do for this bit then... I'm just going to leave you with with the weirdness of this part, but all we're going to do is effectively walk forward until we get to more or less the end of the people. So it may take about a minute. Look at them. All the tasty rays have been unleashed. What have you done? A time traveler is supposed to go back in time, steal some recipes and bring them back. Then you can do what you want with them, open a franchise or whatever, but you do not eat them on sight. Anyway, we start that simulation quickly now. There must be a switch somewhere. Go! So once you get to the end then, what you can do is, if you turn around, um, there should be some more dialogue, and then effectively that will be that. So, uh, if you just start sort of heading back towards, if you sort of head towards the right, I'm not sure exactly how it pops up, but I just started walking back, and as you can see, uh, old Sokbra keeps talking again, and then what's going to happen is an arm is going to stick out of the ground, effectively straight in front of us. It has already happened! Uh, the voice as well, I just... I... Love this game. Love this game. There should definitely be more type of games like this. Anyway, there's the arm sticking out of the ground, so just head up to the screen. And you're gonna... Stop talking to me like that. Uh, right, okay. Anyway, this is actually going to be the last achievement, one last review. Um, but if you want to go ahead and finish the game, all you got to do is if we turn to the left... Yep. Yeah. You can see a little building in front of it. So, just for the hilarious and weirdness sake, I'm going to tell you how to reboot it, and then I'm going to leave you with the final cutscene. So, you should now have 11 out of 11 achievements. If you want to boot it off, that's fine. But let's have a look, is it? Let's see just how weird it gets at the end. So, head in. Now, like, as you were take, like you're taking a picture, press the right bumper, and then press the A button. That will reboot it, and then this weird cutscene plays. So just want to say thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. Let me know what you think of the game. Uh, big shout out to all my Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Thank you so, so much. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. I'll leave you, leave you to the weirdness. And I'll see you in the next one. Big love. Hey kids, my name is Captain Coolimbus. You probably know me as one of the... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not, not feeling that right, but... Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not feeling that good, I think that, that could not be Oh god, all those, all those tasty ways. I'm not can just cut it, cut it, I just make a break, right? I'm sorry.